Hello, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Ida's. We are going to do a fun Thanksgiving center today. We will be making a Thanksgiving placemat. You will need your yellow construction paper and the two strips of construction paper. One is orange and one is red. So let's begin making our placemat. A placemat is something we use to put our plate on when we're having our meal for Thanksgiving. And I thought it would be really fun to go ahead and make our very own personal placemat. So you will be needing your glue stick and a flare pin and your crayons. So let's begin. The first thing we need to do is glue on our orange strip of paper and our red strip of paper onto the placemat. So roll up your glue stick an itty bitty bit amount and get your orange strip of paper and put some glue on the back of it. Maybe some on each edge like this and maybe one, two big stripes down the middle. All right, turn it over and line it up to the corners as best as you can and flatten it down. There's one, and then we'll do the same with our red. So go ahead and put some glue on the sides and then maybe two long strips down the middle. Great job. Turn it over, corner to corner as best as you can and glue it down. There we go. Some beautiful fall colors on our placemat. Go ahead and roll your glue stick down. Cap it so it doesn't get dry. Snap. And now we're going to add some nice details like maybe some patterns that we would see with the Wampanoag tribe, Native American patterns. And they're just so easy to do. It's like a zigzag in little circles. So let's go ahead and try that. We're going to use white and black for this part. And first we'll use the white and we'll make a zigzag shape all the way across, okay? Start at the top corner and go down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. Beautiful zigzag. Let's put some little dots within this zigzag pattern. So a little circle, a little circle, little circle, little circle. I love how the white looks so vibrant on these beautiful fall colors. All right, now we're going to use our black and we're going to kind of trace the white. At least go as close to it as possible. Zig, zag, zig, zag. It gives a little bit more detail, a little bit more dimension to our pattern. Look how neat that came out. Trace those little circles too. Circles, circles, zigzag circles. Look at this. How fun. Let's go ahead and use the white and the black to make that zigzag and circle pattern on the bottom red piece as well. So let's this time start from the bottom and go up, down. Ready? Corner up, down, zig, zag. Go all the way to each edge. Zig, zag, zig. Beautiful. All right, let's make little circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. I got ten circles. How about you? Now let's get our black and trace those zigzags. Look how neat this is. I love making patterns using shapes and lines and zigzags. And get the circles. Look how beautiful. You're going to have such a nice placemat when you're done. If you like your placemat too much and you don't want to get it dirty, with food, that's okay. You can save it as an art 
piece instead. Okay, we're not done yet. In the center, we're going to use our flare pin to draw a turkey with shapes. So cap on the back, and let's go ahead and touch the middle of the placemat. Can you touch the middle? There it is. Let's go ahead and draw a nice circle in the middle, okay? Then from the bottom of this circle, I'm going to make another curved shape to the other side. So starting here, sort of at the bottom, go down, around, and back up. There we go, very nice. So this is going to be a head and a body. Can you guess what animal we're going to draw? A turkey, that's right. So a turkey has two legs. So let's make one line down with two little dashes. And let's make another line down with two little dashes. And the turkey has some feathers on its tummy. So I'm going to make three curves. Curve, curve, curve. Curve, curve, curve. So three times we're going to make that curve, curve, curve. Good job. A turkey has two wings. So right here, I'm going to make a little curved line on the left and a little curved line on the right. The little wings are close to its body. Now we need the little eyes. So you can make two little dots for the eyes. And a turkey has a beak, so make one little straight line and then a V shape under it. Now it looks like a little upside down triangle. We learned in mystery science that male turkeys have a waddle, that red loose skin under its little beak. So let's go ahead and draw a waddle. So make a curvy, worthy kind of cloud shape next to the beak for the waddle. Great job, friends. Now it's time for the big fluffy feathers. So here above the head, I'm going to make a big curve shape like this with a line and some little dashes like we did on our Gobblers on the Gate math from last week. Again, another curved line down with some lines and dashes in the middle to look like a feather. And let's do another curved line. Make this also look like a feather with a big long line and some dashes. That's one, two, three. And let's do one more on the side. Another curve with a line and some dashes. So there's turkey feathers on the right. Let's make three on the left to be equal. The one here is the middle. So let's come here and draw another curvy shape with a line and some dashes. These are symmetrical. That means the same on both sides. So now we need to make one like this here. Another curvy line with a line and some dashes looking like another feather. So here's the center. I have one and one. I have two and two. I need one more to be equal on both sides and symmetrical. So another curve and going down with the line and some dashes. Look at our cute turkey. How lovely. Let's go ahead on this side and write Thanksgiving by stretching out our sounds. Hmm, what do we hear first? That reminds me of two letters that like to go together. They have a heart around them and sometimes they go na 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 na. TH, that's right. Uppercase T because Thanksgiving is the name of a holiday. And H. <laughs> a, 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 N, 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 N,
think okay thanks s good job thanks g g g g i i v thanks give ing i hear an ing sound do you know ing is i n g i n g go together and they say ing thanks giving and let's put 2020 to zero two zero now you'll remember when you made your placemat and like every good artist does we must write our names so on this side of the turkey go ahead and write your name uppercase and lowercase letters like you know how do a very nice neat job excellent and if you have room you can put a dash and an uppercase K. So you can remember you were in kindergarten when you made this project. Let's go ahead and cover our flare pin and color the turkey. Can you find your red crayon for me? All right. So we know a turkey has a red head and a red wattle. So let's use the red to color the head and the wattle. But don't color inside of the beak, okay? The beak or the bill, if it's a really big beak, is yellow. So go ahead and color inside of the head of the turkey. If you want, you can press down a little harder where the wattle is so the wattle stands out. And let's go ahead and use red to color these bottom turkey feathers. Good job. You don't have to press hard. Just nice and light, just to give a little detail. Look at this cute shaped turkey we made. All right, red and red. It's the same on both sides, it's symmetrical. All right, let's get orange. And we will skip a feather. These can be yellow and we'll come here. And this will be an orange feather. Orange up here. Good job. And Symmetrical on this side, orange here. Good job. And that middle feather can just stay yellow as well. Nice and neat. Do your best wild colors that you can. Now the body of the turkey will be brown. Can you find your brown? I love using fall colors for this project. Let's color the body of the turkey brown. Oh, so cute. What a cute turkey you made. Here we are. And we can trace this lines of the wings and the curves to give a little bit more dimension. And ta-da! You have just made a cute Thanksgiving placemat. I hope you had fun creating this cute placemat with me. Happy Thanksgiving, friends. Bye.